hey y'all what is up welcome back to the channel it's your girl chelsea j and in today's video we are going to be doing a body wash and shower gel collection of just my bath and body works products so right here i'm showing you guys an overview of my moisturizing body washes y'all forgive me for all the moving around your girl is trying to find a good angle for y'all and so yeah um, but before we jump into the video, if you are a new subscriber, hey, thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome to the gang gang. And if you are oldie but goodie, hey boo, what it do? Welcome back to the channel. And if you just so happen to stumble upon this channel and have not already, feel free to go ahead and subscribe. So yeah, let's just jump right into this video and talk about these products. I zoomed out a little bit so you guys could kind of get the full picture of what's going on. All right, so first things first, we have a thousand wishes in a moisturizing body wash. The notes are pink prosecco and girl, I definitely move too fast to keep up with that. Next we have a fresh getaway. This is one of my favorites. The notes are bright use of citrus and fresh ocean air. It's so nice, bright, fresh. Next up is another one of my favorites, Gingham Love in the Moisturizing Body Wash. The notes are like, I'm about to turn it, sugar red berries, blush and freesia, and rose meringue, excuse me. The sugar red berries is what I get from it the most. Next up is an aromatherapy and energy. And it just has orange and ginger notes. Aromatherapy is not my favorite, but I figured this would do well for in the mornings. And my husband seems to really, really, really like aromatherapy. So yeah, that's that. Just or orange oil and ginger oil. So yeah. Excuse the lighting in this video as well. Still haven't got my ring light. Next up is Pure Wonder. Pure Wonder has notes of Ice Rosé, Star Jasmine, and Warm White Amber. This is a really underrated scent in my opinion. And I was surprised to see it already at 75% off. Another one is Hope Winter Peach Marshmallow, Velvet Peach, Vanilla Meringue, and Creamy Jasmine. In my opinion, this is one of the better peach scents that Bath & Body Works has done. Next up, we have another one of my favorites, Joy Snickerdoodle. Snickerdoodle Spice, Creamy Vanilla, Sugared Musk. It's just a nice cookie smell. Some people love this smell. Some people hate this smell. Me personally, I love cookie smells, so this is right up my alley. Next, here is an overview of all of the body washes that I own currently. Y'all, sad to say, my body wash days are probably coming to an end because for some reason I feel like these have been drying out my skin. So my mission slash goal right now is to get these um, body gels out of my collection. First up we have a travel size in Gingham Love. I actually have two of those so you'll be seeing this in a project use it up. As you can see I already used a little bit of this one so I'm trying not to hoard like half used products in my collection anymore. So yeah looking forward to using that one pretty soon and I already mentioned the notes before. Next up is Copper Coconut Sands. This is like a really beachy coconut sand, but I will say that on my skin for some reason, it smells kind of medicinal, like it almost has a peppermint element to it, and that's not in the notes. So I don't really know why that smells like that. Next up is Candy Violet Sorbet. The notes are Sugar Violet Petals, Vanilla Sorbet, and Blackberry Swirl. As you can see, this has been in my project use it up before, but I struggle to use this one because I don't really like the scent. I like it better in the shower gel than any of the other forms because I actually returned the body cream because the body cream left kind of like a chemical smell on my skin. And I wasn't too sure what was up with that. So, yeah. Next up is Magnolia Charm. This is like a fresh scent of dewy pear blossom, blooming magnolia, and fresh cedar. Um, I'm so ready for this to get out of my collection. As you can see, it's not that much left. But I'm just kind of tired of this scent in general. So, I'm looking for a way to kind of freshen it up a little bit. And so, you might be seeing that in a project use it up soon. Next up is Pretty as a Peach. This is just a signature 
peach scent blushing peach jasmine petals white nectarine apple blossom and sheer freesia um i feel like this is just your typical peach scent i have a lot of things that i compare with this but definitely ready to get it out of my collection sunshine mimosa is my girl as you can see how much i've used of her i actually took her with me to puerto rico and she did me good <laughs> bright bubbly champagne and fresh citrus are the fragrance notes this is really refreshing and it was really refreshing in the hot weather in puerto rico and so yeah if you see my hands moving a lot in this video it's because i was talking but I decided to do a voiceover. Next up is Fairy Tale. Fairy Tale is my girl. Pomegranate nectar, fresh orange blossom, vanilla bean, warm amber. She pairs really well with YSL Libre, but your girl just really doesn't use it unless it's like a special occasion. And I need to get out of that. Um, but yeah, Fairy Tale is definitely one of my top scents. Next up, we have Twinkling Nights. I do love her, but I don't use her as much because I was hoarding her. But yeah, Frosted Jasmine Petals with the Vanilla Mandarin Blossom. Y'all, I really need to stop hoarding my products and just use them and get it over with. So that's my focus. If you guys want to see like um, some of my top favorites, let me know. Next up, another one of my favorites, Fireside Flurries, which is Toasted Marshmallow, Pink Lavender, Cashmere Woods. I totally slept on this scent when it came out during last year's Winter SAS because of that lavender note, and I don't really like lavender. But to me, I get more of a marshmallow scent. My husband also really loves this scent. I do have two of these in my collection, but once I put them in the shower, they don't last long because, like I said, my husband uses it also. So, that's that. Um... And then an aromatherapy, lavender and vanilla. It just has the lavender oil and the vanilla absolute in it. I picked this one up because it's not very heavy on the lavender as well. My husband loves aromatherapy, so he will help me use this one. And also, um, even though I hate lavender, I really get more of the vanilla out of this one. I don't know, maybe my nose is just blocking the lavender nose. Next up, my favorite, and I'm like hoarding as well, <laughs> Raspberry Jam Donut. As you can see, I was trying to see like what year that was made, but I couldn't see. Um, I think it's 2020 though. Wild Raspberry Jam, Powdered Sugar, Warm Fluffy Donut. And if I haven't mentioned y'all, forgive the tape on the tops. So I put tape on my stuff when I was moving, and instead of untaping everything, I just kind of left it. Vanilla Bean Noel has fresh vanilla bean, sugar cookies, warm caramel, whipped cream, snow kiss and musk. I picked this up to potentially gift it, um, but I don't know because I feel like you can never go wrong with a vanilla scent. I know a lot of people were saying to them this one wasn't as strong and didn't have any smell. Next up, my favorite favorite, <laughs> coconut cream pie, toasted coconut flakes, caramel custard, and I think it's like golden pie crust, but yeah. I love these. I had two, but this is my last one. Y'all, this might be one I actually break my I'm not buying shower gels for because I love coconut cream pie in all formulas. Next up is Starlit Night, which I think is a baby version of Into the Stars. And so that blue on blue is killing me. Snowberry, Midnight Iris, and Sensual Arborwood, which if you didn't know, it's Oud. This smells like the baby sister or the winter version of Into the Stars in my opinion. So I'm going to probably use this both with the Starlit Night and the Into the Stars. So yeah. <sighs> yeah. And we have Peach Prosecco Macaron. Another one of my favorites. Peach Prosecco Vanilla Cream Macaron Cookie. In the shower gel, I do get a lot of the vanilla cream and the macaron cookie for sure. Um... I don't know this just smells so good to me it doesn't smell like a normal peach that bath and body works would do next up we have berry waffle cone with the notes of sweet summer berries golden waffle cone creamy vanilla um as you can see this is in my project use it up because i thought i hated it and then when i started using it oh my god fell in love but it's not one that i necessarily need a backup of i don't think and fun fact i only like to use that in the winter time Buttercups and Berry Bellini. This just came out, um, I think this is a part of the spring line this year. 
and it's strawberry puree buttercup flowers bubbly prosecco all i get is that strawberry puree note and y'all it smells so good i was using this up at my mom's house while i was moving and she absolutely fell in love with the scent paracrum brule this is mm, i don't know about this one y'all baked pear caramelized sugar whipped cream i smell like I smell like I feel like that whipped cream note smells really funny on my skin last we have forever red and I know this has like fiery pomegranate rum oak wood and some type of vanilla I think but not my favorite not something I really lean forward to but I'm definitely gonna try to use it so yeah guys that is it for my shower gel collection thanks for watching see you next time